Oh, the Baltimore Ravens have signed Andrew Adams to their practice squad. And you know what? Let's just read the report straight from Ian Rappaport. He says, uh, the Baltimore Ravens have signed free agent safety Andrew Adams to their practice squad, so it said. And there is a possibility of quick elevation given their injury situation he spent last year with the Titans. Now, Andrew Adams, um, I saw a YouTube video of him. He's related to Matt Forte. He's related to former Ravens Sam Adams. And there was somebody else there as well. So he, he got some good football players in his bloodline. So hopefully that translates to when he joins the Baltimore Ravens as well. Now, a part about uh, Ian Rappaport's tweet where he said uh, there's a possibility of quick elevation given their injury situation. Uh, obviously, he is speaking about Marcus Williams. And with Marcus Williams, uh, he's been back for a couple of games now, but he just hasn't quite been the same. Getting better each week. Like this week against the Titans, it was better than the previous week uh, against the Steelers. But it, it's, it's a process because uh, he, he's not fully healed yet. He seems like he's getting better and better. And his arm getting a little stronger here and there. But he's not fully uh, healed yet. Now, um, now he has a hamstring injury. John Harbaugh said that this week Marcus Williams is iffy. Uh, he's iffy on if he's going to play or not. If John Harbaugh saying that, I ain't expecting Marcus Williams to play. Now, this is sort of a bittersweet thing. Like, it, there's nothing sweet about an injury at all. But with the situation, with Marcus Williams expected to be out with the hamstring injury, this will give not only his hamstring time to heal, however long it takes, but this will give his arm time to get better as well. So I think that this could, it's not a, a, not a blessing in disguise. I don't think it's anything like that, but it's just, he can heal up some more. So with him being back, and like we've talked about for weeks now, uh, we would rather Marcus Williams be all the way right rather than be out there barely able to pick this arm up and whatnot, dragging it along for the ride. No, we, we, we need Marcus Williams out there right. We need the Marcus Williams that we love and know. Uh, so, again, while he has taken steps and getting better and he has progressed from week to week, uh, we want him even better. But uh, in his absence, Geno Stone. Geno Stone has continued to show his worth and continued to show, like, hey, Baltimore, it was fun. But after this season, I am out of here because Geno Stone, he's going to cash in, man. Especially he keeps this up. He is going to cash in and he deserves it. Like, Geno Stone is the perfect example of making the most of your opportunity. That's exactly what he's done. And we said this from jump, from when Marcus Williams first went out, before Geno Stone even took a snap as a starter. We said it from jump that we know Geno Stone can play. We already knew Geno Stone could play. The only thing holding him back from being an even better safety was experience. That's it. That was it. Because Geno Stone has shown us this in the past already. So that's why I would still be comfortable with sitting Marcus Williams while he healed, even before he got this hamstring injury. And, and real quick, with the hamstring injury that Marcus Williams got, how did he get it? It was on the Geno Stone pick, I believe. He was going to block an offensive lineman. And his body just like banged around and he got thrown around like a rag doll almost uh, and then he got hurt and that was a wrap so that's why the baltimore ravens they signed uh andrew adams uh they also have deandre houston carson uh, on the practice squad as well now um with their practice squad they added one so they had to take one away uh, and the baltimore ravens they released Kenyon drake uh from the practice squad so Kenyon drake his time with the Baltimore Ravens was short-lived uh, it only lasted uh, a couple of weeks and I guess they figure you know what like all right we got Gus Edwards we got Justice Hill but they got Ke uh, Keaton Mitchell back and with them having Keaton Mitchell back and Keaton Mitchell on the active roster there just really wasn't a spot uh, for Kenyon Drake he could always come back at another time and you know how the Baltimore Ravens do uh, they keep good relationships with a lot of the players as long as the players keep good relationships with them it's a two-way street but we'll see how that goes um, now with uh, Adafi away again just a quick reminder on him Harbaugh said that he's close how close he is we'll start to see tomorrow if he ends up practicing again uh, with David Ajabo, again, he could be out for maybe like, like a couple more weeks, maybe longer, who knows. Uh, with Tyus Bowser, uh, hopefully we can get some clarity on what's going on with him very, very soon. And Harbaugh said he's going to let Tyus Bowser speak on that. So 
we'll see we'll see it's just so much unknown with that whole situation right now now uh something that i wanted to key in on uh, is that with the baltimore ravens this year it's been a bittersweet thing but it seems that as if they are headed in the right direction when it comes to these injuries because we know uh, the ravens of previous years when a guy got hurt oh he's out for the season he's done for the year oh that's a wrap we'll see him next year unfortunately but this year while there have been a lot of injuries with the baltimore a lot of injuries with the baltimore ravens uh the thing about about this year that has been better is that a lot of guys are coming back uh, obviously they lost jk dobbins for the year uh they also lost um nick moore for the year uh I, and i know that oh our darius washington he's probably gone for the year you know harbaugh didn't confirm it, it was, he, he said he's probably done for the year he didn't say officially officially but he's probably gonna be gone for the year um and there could be some other guys that end up being out for the year but it's to be determined but anyway, a lot of guys, we've been getting them back. Marlon Humphrey, he missed, what, the first four games, I believe? He came back. Uh, Adolphe Away is supposed to be coming back sometime soon. Marcus Williams, he had missed some time. He came back. Ronnie Stanley, he missed time. He came back. Pat McCarry, Morgan Moses. Uh, I mean, we could go down a list. Justice Hill. Uh, these different guys have missed time. And I know there's more, too. Mark Andrews, that's another one. Odell Beckham Jr., that's another one. Rashad Bateman, that's another one. So you see what I'm saying? A lot of guys have missed time early on this season, but they've come back. So the Baltimore Ravens seem to be trending in the right direction. Now, if we could just cut down on the injuries, period. And I know it's football, so injuries are going to happen. You can't, do, you can't do everything about everything. So I get that. But if we could cut it down a bit, do everything that the Baltimore Ravens can possibly do to cut it down, that would be a beautiful thing. And I'm sure they're working on all of that stuff because I'm sure a team wouldn't be like maliciously getting guys hurt. That just wouldn't make sense. It would be detrimental to the team. So I'm sure they're working on making this thing better and making this team healthier as well. Uh, but team, keep it clean. I love you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single thing, not one single Baltimore Ravens update because we want y'all to know everything that's going on with the team. Uh, when anytime we find out something, we let y'all know. Anytime y'all find out something, y'all always let me know. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I hope that your day, your evening, your night is going great. I appreciate you. We out.